So putting a blend together is really about creating something that's a very, very unique taste. And part of that piece is really getting everything in the balance. So we can get all the fillers and the binders and the wrapper all in conjunction with laying layers of flavor. So you can taste different pieces of what's inside the filler tobaccos, be it the Lajero be it the Visa or the Seiko, depending on what part of the country that you're pulling this tobacco from. So it's sometimes it's just a matter of taking a little hair of leaf and taking a half a leaf out, changes the blend completely. Sometimes the fillers and the binders aren't working with that specific wrapper. So one of the cool, unique tricks that we do is we actually take a cutter and we'll cut a little piece of the wrapper off. You get to expose the fillers and the binders, you taste that, and you can see how the blend either changes for the better or for the worse. But the wrapper, again, is the most important part and the most expensive part of the cigar. And it's adding like a little bit of a sea salt on your porterhouse steak, which actually brings up all the flavors. So that's the unique art. Once you get to the science of fermenting and all that fun stuff that you have to go through, the art of blending is very, very unique. It is your interpretation of trying to take these great ingredients and how do you get the most flavor out of them. And doing that with these components is challenging at times. It will give you a lot of gray hair. Because what I've experienced is the first day that we work on a blend, it's been aging, we smoke it, we think we've nailed it. And then I'll get the blends back a week later from whatever factory I've visited and this blend's changed. And then it changes again. And so what you thought you started out with never does. And the magic number for me has been 45 days. About 45 days later, you kind of figure out, I think this cigar is what it's gonna taste like. And then 60 days, after, and then another 15 days on top of that, when you get to 60 days, it's pretty much stable at that point. So that's a long, long, long process to actually get a blend from start to finish to figure out if it's going to be stable enough and it is what that taste that you have somewhere in your head that you're envisioning this to be.